Ai Weiwei Disposition is a project, uh, the invitation of Zueka Projects, uh, in collaboration with the Listen Gallery, inviting Ai Weiwei to present two really major works at the time of the Venice Biennale. Uh, the first is Straight, here in Zueka Projects, and the second is a new piece called Sacred, which has never been seen before. This piece relates to uh, the major earthquake that happened in uh, China, in Sichuan, in 2008, when 5,000 schoolchildren were killed as a result of a natural catastrophe, but made worse by um, the shoddy building that uh, government had allowed to be built. Uh, so it was a natural catastrophe, but one that shouldn't have happened. And uh, Ai Weiwei used his art and his presence, his renown, to make a big fuss about that, really, to bring the world's attention to this event and to try to um, focus blame where it needed to be focused to try to avoid it happening again. So we did a number of projects that related to the earthquake. This one, straight, shown in the Zueka projects, is a very particular piece. It's, a very, it's much quieter, it's much more um, um, monumental in some ways than these other projects. It's much less overt, but it's certainly extremely powerful. Essentially what he did was to uh, recuperate about 100 tons of uh, rebar that um, had been uh, part of these, of these, uh, these destroyed buildings. And he took these twisted and gnarled pieces of metal and uh, literally, uh, with his studio, worked for about three years to uh, hammer them out, to make them straight, to make what was wrong right. So the, the metal from the buildings, is, it's as if it has almost become become earth again, it's become a landscape with a rift in it and, and undulation. So the two works that are shown here are extremely different, uh, but they're also quite closely related. Uh, the campaign, really, that uh, Weiwei made around the earthquake was the, the sort of focal point of his conflict with the authorities. Weiwei's perspective is that if things are wrong, they need to be spoken about, they need to be talked about. Uh, in a way, it's his duty as a citizen to uh, discuss these issues as publicly as possible. Um, so that led to his confrontation, which then, quite to many people's uh, s s shock and surprise, uh, in uh, April 2011, led to his detention. What we should see in the St. Antonin Church, um, just across the canal, is a kind of shocking, and shockingly simple work that he's made, effectively showing the cells where he was detained uh, for these 81 days. Uh, there are six metal boxes um, and inside them are very faithfully recreated uh, half-life size in fiberglass uh, the, the, the prison, the, the room that he was kept in. So each one is the same but each one has a different scene of Ai Weiwei uh, sleeping, having a shower, on the toilet, um, eating, being interrogated. So it's as if there are stages of his detention, stages of the period when he was in this uh, period of intense self-doubt, he had no idea what was happening to him. Um, he didn't know um, what you know, the result was going to be, whether he would ever see the light of day. Uh, it's an interesting piece because coming into the church, you see these six uh, metal boxes, and again, they look like minimal sculptures. Uh, so it's even more surprising when you peer through the window on the side or look down into them and you see just glimpses um, of these rooms uh, and you realize pretty immediately what's going on with them. And so it's a very powerful piece about um, self-presence and essence and the doubts that beset anybody who's trying to behave, whether you know, on, a, on a small personal level or on a large political stage. It's really a reflective piece about uh, what it means to be human and to try to act in the world.